Bye, guys. Okay, well, here, look, here's the deal. You may be looking at the screen and be like, hey, why do you have that mask? You're not supposed to have that mask. Here's the deal. So, like, two days ago, I recorded the, 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 like, end of this series, pretty much, right? Um, but it came out kind of shitty. It was a whole lot of me rambling, and I just wasn't satisfied with the, uh, with my commentary on it. So, we're redoing it. I, that, that's the deal. We're just gonna act like, you know, I never got Fierce Fee. Look, 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 look. Boom. It's like it never even existed in the first place, right? Oh my god. Tell you what, I'll do you one even better. Let's go into the save editor here. Handy dandy little save editor. Wow, look at that. We don't have we don't have fierce deity. Holy shit. Okay. Well, anyways, um so there's two ways we can get into the um what should we call it? The clock tower. We could either A wait until the moon's starting to fall like you're supposed to or we could say nah i might and just um and just hover in there which is why i'm out here gathering bombs and stuff right so which we're, we're just going to hover into the clock tower it's way quicker anyways but yeah man uh how about that nintendo direct i know i'm late on talking about it but like my god, man, there was a lot of hop shit in there. Me Metroid Prime 4, oh my god, it finally, like, they, sh they showed us gameplay. Now, I'm gonna be, be real. It looks incredible. Like, the, the gameplay and stuff looks incredible, but the music just sounds not good. <laughs> if, if I'm gonna be, be frank, like, I really don't like the, the music in, um... At least in the trailer they show off. It really gives off like Metroid Prime if it was epic vibes. You, you know, shit like that. Like uh, Mario if it, it was epic and realistic. And it's just like Unreal Engine Mario, but really shitty. <laughs> That's the kind of vibes the OST was giving me. But um, I'm still super hot for it. I mean, Retro worked on it, right? And they made the first three and phenomenal games. Well, I mean, you know, people seem to be kind of hit or miss whether they uh like uh, uh i want these on x whether they like prom 3 or not hell even prom 2 some people don't like because it has a lot of backtracking for sure but i don't know man after replaying them they're pretty they're both like solid especially two i've always been a big fan of two right but so four i'm, I'm expecting even if the music is kind of whatever i expect the gameplay to be just awesome right so I, but other than that, right, so they added a, um, so th there's a new Mario and Luigi, uh, RPG, right? So that, that is awesome. And, and the thing I'm personally excited for the most, um, new Zelda game, right? And the, the gimmick of this Zelda game is you play as Zelda herself. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, oh God. Alright, well, I can still see my head. Oh my god, I'm not in there yet! Um, but yeah, that that is pretty cool, I think. Um, I, it, at first I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be like Wanda Gamelon all, all over again. It's just gonna be like a weird little spinoff, but like, it actually seems pretty solid. Like, granted, they're using the, um... Link's Awakening, I think it was called Remaker re Remake Engine for it, you know. So they, they got a, it's a little bit of a spin off game in that aspect. They didn't put like their full time and dedication to make it like a whole new engine or anything, they just kind of reused it. It fits though, it fits, but yeah, it looks like it's got all the love of like a full on Zelda game. Like, Zelda's got her own unique quirks and stuff. I, I can't wait for them to show off more about it, but the thing. I haven't played the, the real thing I'm like super hot for. Uh, hold on, I got focused up. All right. <laughs> I couldn't remember what the song was at first, but the Mario and Luigi game is pretty cool because, like, I haven't the only one I ever played was Bowser's Inside Story. I know it's a crowd, but that one was incredible. It was really good. I remember playing the shit out of it all the time. And. Um, 
so now they have this new one coming out and I'm like f I I'm for sure gonna get it man I don't know man that, that game was like a big part of my childhood dude but I wonder what the next like mainline Zelda game is when they're going to show it off I it's probably still like a long ways out but like god I hope it isn't another like Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom style which they said they weren't going to do that right I think they did so no way they do but oh man it's just so overdone at this point man that style of uh game like Bre breath of the wild started and now there's like a million spin-offs craftopia get get you an impact uh, hundreds of other ones you i'm sure you can name those are the two i'm just more most familiar with but yeah and then tears of the kingdom comes out and it's kind of more the same granted i, I love tears of the kingdom and it fixed a lot of the problems I had with Breath of the Wild. I'm, I, listen, I'm not a Breath of the Wild apologist. I, personally, that game is kind of, it's good, but it's not like great for me, right? Tears of the Kingdom, that game's great. It fixed every issue I had just about with uh, Breath of the Wild. So that was awesome, but still, it's just kind of being more of the same, like, oh, open world uh, Zelda game. Um, intentionally like you could do it in whatever order you want just it was cool but eh, you know it, more than more, more than twice is really pushing it right so like one of the biggest issues i have with that that style for a zelda game at least it's like part of the fun of playing these games for me these older ones especially like otmm like you, you see me do it uh both for OOT and this game. It's like I intentionally play it out of order. It's just funner for me. I don't know. But when you design the game with that in mind, that like the, the player can just go wherever they want, do whatever they want, whenever they want, you kind of start to lack a little bit of depth depth into the, the gameplay and the mechanics. Um, not, not saying that that's like true 100% of the time, but like a lot of the time it ends up being like you have to design a lot of the world and the mechanics and the gameplay around like, oh, what if the player didn't go here first? They went somewhere else, right? But with, with these games, these older games, you know, the, the devs had a path, a clear path in mind of what the player was supposed to follow. And... You, with glitches and stuff, you can break that kind of path and do whatever you want. And that's just fun to me. Like, you could do, you can get the bow from Woodfall, and if you wanted to, just go straight to Stone Tower. Right? I didn't do that, but you can go straight to Stone Tower and just immediately do, like, the, the final dungeon right off the bat if you wanted to. And it's going to be super hard, but that's part of the fun for me. It's doing stuff like that. Meanwhile, in, like, Breath of the Wild, you know... Um, there's not a set order to the dungeon. You go there and it's just like, oh, you just use the four runes you got at the beginning of the game for like all four of them. It's just like slight variations on the same puzzle, right? Not to say it's bad game design or whatever. It's just, it's a lot funner for me when there's like a clear path they've laid out and it, they, they can add like layering onto like the puzzles and stuff because they expect you to have certain things yada 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 and then when you start to add glitches and sequence breaks on top of that there's like different ways to solve that in, in like unexpected ways all that yada 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 yeah i'm explaining it poorly but I, i'm sure you get the point right but hold on i'm getting a phone call uh one second my god all right my bad um uh, but yeah oh where's the game audio oh my headset died okay <laughs> that's where the game audio went um, but yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about like the open-endedness of these games, but like the unintentional part of it. Yeah, so that's um, one of the the bigger things. That, like that's why I like Super Metroid a lot too, and Metroid Prime. Um, just the tech with those games, it's slightly different though, because like it's mostly to do with um, just the movement in those games being so open-ended that or just like so good that you could kind of force your way through the game without having like required items like a big example is um so fantoon right fantoon um to get to him you're supposed to ha you're supposed to have like high jump grapple beam all this stuff do you actually need that stuff though um no you don't you can literally just like with, with well a well-timed run and jump 
just straight up skip um having to need grapple beam at all it'll be really hard fighting fantoon right but you could do it and um ridley too you can without even having varia suit or gravity suit you can get to ridley um and fight him without either of them like there's a whole speedrun category for doing the game in reverse boss order which i think they still get varia no you can get varia because it's locked behind crate i think they still get gravity suit just because um it's faster right they don't have to get as many uh e-tanks or whatever but yeah the fact that you can even do that is really cool to me like they make it to where that it, it, it's good game design in that like they make it clear they're like okay yeah you shouldn't do you, you shouldn't do this until you have these items right like they make it hard for like a casual player who doesn't know the ins and outs of the game right they they make it not so obvious that you could do that uh, but on like a replaying of the game when you understand the mechanics more you understand how the movement works uh better all that good stuff you can look at them and be like hey do I really need these items to go and do this? And it's like, no, you don't. And they, and they don't make it like straight up impossible to do either. Where like you have to have like straight up use sequence breaks and glitches and shit like that, right? So that that's really cool to me. Um, hopefully this next Zelda game is more along those lines. Like kind of like MMOOT, right? Like that would be really cool. Um, more so than uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god. You should have said, man, if I had uploaded that first video, um, that first like recording I did of me doing this, oh my god, I was here for so long. I tried so much shit. I was literally like hovering. <laughs> I was trying to hover to uh, get past this segment. <laughs> oh god. No, not that this is like easy now that I've done like you can see I'm still failing it but like oh my god using free cam actually does make this like fairly difficult because like normally the camera just follows behind Goron link just period but well free cam I have to like I've said it before but I gotta do, do like this weird claw grip right okay so behind over there is wait I can't I can't remember I think over there is a heart piece so over here is the way the, the way forward all right good amazing hello what mask do I want to give you I want to give you these two because they're useless I want more mess here you go and here you go have ha have fun trying to wear that one bud what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Uh, no. Unfortunately. That reminds me of like a thing I saw on Twitter of like, I'm sure you guys have seen the, the meme of like, stop having fun. It's just like a bunch of dudes having fun playing like a, a, a game on the couch or whatever. But like, that reminds me of um, after the direct came out there was a lot of people that w was um making fun of like oh yeah uh, making fun of like people hating on horizon zero dawn you know because they're like saying oh industry point game yada 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 and there was a meme i saw someone made <laughs> habitual horizon defender um shitting on um uh, Zelda for being like an industry plan like oh my god another Zelda game yada 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 <laughs> oh man I don't know it just made me chuckle man oh my goodness but yeah oh yeah I spent way too long on this part too because um I couldn't figure out the path I ended up having to google it it was uh left left right right or something yeah this should be it Yo. the heart piece is something else I got I ended up getting the heart piece in the original recording but like eh who cares we're at the end of the game. I don't much care about the the extra heart piece. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, no. Just because you like something doesn't mean everyone else will, man. Uh, and some people are not rational about it either. They will straight up shit on you just because you like something. 
If you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? No, it doesn't. These poor, poor, sweet summer child children, man. They don't know. They don't know. Oh, no, man. All right, last one. Twin mode, ch mode child. You know, I wonder if them being like... They kind of got... They kind of look like the happy mask salesman, but like as a kid, right? I wonder if that's intentional. Like, is the happy mask salesman um, at all related to the uh, souls trapped within the mask? I assume these are like the souls trapped within the, the mask of like the dungeon bosses, right? I wonder if they're at all, um, if he's at all related, right? Maybe. Or maybe it was just like some random model. They're like, oh, you know what? Happy Mass Salesman had kind of, he's kind of got the cut that would work, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Okay, I think there's a dark nut fight here. And I know we need this, grab this. All right. Hello. I'm going to one shot you now. Ow. All right, goodbye. You know, I don't think I've ever once fought Maj Majora without using Fierce Deity. Not because it's like, oh, dude, Majora is too hard to fight without Fierce Deity. It's like, ow, you bastard. Ah. It's more to do with, um, Fierce Deity is just fun, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's not even like it's like super u a super unique concept or anything. It's really just like adult Link, but he has a sword beam. But I, the idea is sick as shit, right? <laughs> oh, right. I do need a hookshot to get up there. It's the next room where we need the bow. Yeah, this chest has bomb shoes in it, just in case we didn't have any. Or no, it has arrows. What? I think this is the room that has a uh, bomb shoes in it. Okay. But yeah, yeah, like Fierce Deity is like one of those things like, it's literally just like a reskin of Adult Link, but I don't know, the, the way it's presented is super cool. No, he almost got me, he almost did. Okay, if I recall correctly, the way I did this is I got up here, two, three, four, and then I let go on the black. Yep, there we go. And then you can do that for the, the next room too, the, the like black flame, or frame of the uh, bomb shoot flash. There we go. Yep, and then I can do the same thing in this room. Two, three, four. Yes, sir. Damn, dude, this video is flying by compared. Like, I'm about to shave 10 minutes off of this recording compared to the last one. <laughs> Talking like a speedrunner, but yeah, this 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 one is going way quicker now that I kind of already have done the um, troublesome parts before. I know how to get around the the trial and error aspects a little bit better. Yo, why do I keep stepping out of frame? <laughs> My God, I wasn't that close to him, was I? We social dis distancing on the moon? Is that what's going on? What your true face? What kind of face is it? I wonder. Face under the mask, is that your true face? Damn, this boy is the Aristotle of the group, it would seem. My goodness. Dropping the, the real philosophical questions on us. Okay, this should give us fair CD since I took it out of my inventory. Uh, if it doesn't, I mean, I can just re-add it, right? Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? I will. Let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Boom! 
Yeah. Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Shall we play? Yeah, well, um, uh, I don't play by the rules, buddy. Yeah. Alright, uh, magic, right? Yeah. And now we are a reused asset. Love to see it. <laughs> a fun fact, if you go back and look at like real old screenshots of this game, I'm pretty sure, now maybe this is like fake stuff that I'm remembering as being real, but I, I'm pretty sure there's a screenshot you can find of like an adult Link mask that eventually got repurposed into this, right? But. And also, another funny thing is, um, Adult Link is, uh, in OOT, he's the size of Zora Link in this game. So this, the Fierce Deity Link is not the same size, which I'm sure you already guessed if you've done, like, the Fierce Deity anywhere much or whatever, right? Uh, Fierce Deity is way bigger than Adult Link was in OOT. <laughs> Chill, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, dude is a behemoth, bro. When MM Rando comes out, and I'm definitely putting on Allow Fierce Deity anywhere. If you guys ever tune into those streams, you'll see what I'm talking about, man. And this dude is a unit. Bro is a creature. You can make some insane jumps, dude. It's, uh, he's got, like, a uh, different gravity. So. Oh. Right, whatever. We'll just go fry you, bro. He's got, he's got like a lower gravity than um, the other characters. For some reason, I don't know why that is. But yeah, it, it, on top of having like just being huge, so he makes insane jumps. He has lower gravity, so he makes like even bigger, more insane jumps than you would think. Okay, bud. Goodbye. Oh. No, you die now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. How about this time? Let me, let me jump side. Oh, come on. Bro ripped out the Beyblade on me. Uh oh, I somehow broke the targeting. There we go. I mean, yeah, Fierce CD trivializes, trivializes this fire, right? But, I mean, that's by design. <laughs> Not exactly the hardest boss ever. It does get a little bit harder when you don't have Fierce CD, and especially when you don't have Great Fairy Sword, but... <laughs> we have both. God, I'd hate to do that fight with just a uh, Kikiri sword, though. That would take ages. Oh, yeah, you know what? Something else I learned, too. Uh, in that first recording I was talking about that I wasn't happy with. Dude, this cutscene, not this cutscene. It was the first cutscene. After you call Oath and the Giants come in, they start holding up the moon. Dude, for some reason, it loaded me in the terminal field, like the cutscene map with the Giants. And I was walking around, I was like, what is going on? If I still have it, I, I might be able to put it up on the screen. Right. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. What? What? I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, yo! <laughs> Dude, what's going on, man? There's only two giants here. Oh my god, it crashed? What do you mean it crashed? But, yeah, that map is super buggy. I went, I tried to go into Clocktown and see what would happen, and it just straight up crashed. I've never seen that before. I've never heard of that glitch before. Like, that's got to be a two-ship, two-Harkadian bug, but that was super weird. Holy shit. But, yeah, there you go. Here, Here's the uh, the ending of the game here. I'll give my thoughts on it here in a second after we get through this uh, exposition. But, yeah, man, good, good game. Good memories, man. How does Skull Kid know these guys? Do the other, like, Skull children in Lost Woods know these people too, or is it just Skull Kid? 
You hadn't forgotten about me. Nah. You still thought of me as a friend. Indeed, indeed. They definitely trampled like all of Clocktown. Dude, there's no one left. <laughs> They're gonna have to rebuild the whole town. <laughs> so many homes just straight up ruined <laughs> because of that but hey it saved the world though so small price to pay right but, <laughs> but it sucks to live in clock down did you save me i did thought they didn't want to be friends with me but they hadn't forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. Could you be my friend too? Maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, I might. <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. Yeah, so th there's the revelation. He's the he's the school kid that you teach Sorry song to for the heart piece and OOT. I know, I know. Let's do something. So the evil has left the mask after all. Oh, now I finally have it back. Why he got Mario on his back though, right? Why he got Mario on his back? Since I'm in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Like this guy has got, has to be omnipotent, right? He traveled to Mario's, like Mario 64, and just collected his soul. Snatched that shit, like Shang Tsung. <laughs> Turned him into a mask, bro. <laughs> Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. Well, not always, buddy, not always. With that, please excuse me. Yeah. I mean, he's a force to be reckoned with, son. You, you piss him off, you might just end up as the next mask. <laughs> but, Ma, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. I'd hate to see what happened if, uh, if he met my guardian in D2, man. That bastard has turned gods into guns. <laughs> he's turned he's turned men into mass. I wonder what would happen if they met. <laughs> the happy mass salesman gun. Well, both of us has gotten what we're after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Okay. Oh, see you later, Bob. Joe! Mama. Thank you. How sweet. Yep. Oh, there you go, man. I've said it time and time again. This is my favorite Zelda game of all time, and listen, whether you played it before, whether you haven't, whatever, now that it's, like, officially decompiled and played on PC, you don't have to play the two-ship version. You can play the recomp. I just highly suggest you play it, period, right? And, I mean, even if you haven't played it, like, why are you watching this? Go, go download it. Go play it right now. Stop watching right now. All right. <laughs> this game is worth it. Trust me. It, fantastic game. I, and again, if you have played this game before and you've beat it, the, the PC port is definitely worth the replay. Just like all the quality of life stuff, the free cam, the unlocked FPS. Hell, even if you just want to play it casually or whatever, it, they literally have a built-in save editor. I, I could show you. I mean, I showed it before. Let me move it out of the way to credits. But like, yeah. Like, bro. 
You, even if you just want to dick around on it, you could give yourself all the items in the game. Just like that, right? Quest status, give yourself the remains, the songs, you know, a certain section of the game you don't like, you just straight up skip it, right? So, it's got um, ultra wide support. I'm playing this on a 32 by 9 monitor, dude. 32 by 9. Like, it, there's no black bars or nothing. I mean, it's just all of the, all of the features this has, which uh, the recomp has a lot of this stuff too. I don't think it has the save editor, though. Um, but all of it makes it worth replaying. So, again, I implore you go into the description below. Granted, again, you can do the recomp too. I don't have that in the description. Maybe I'll add it when I upload this. I don't know. But go into the description below. Join the Harbor Masters Discord. Download this. Go, you know, wink, wink, dump your own copy of Majora's Mask to play this with. You will not regret it, man. This game is fantastic. Still my favorite Zelda game of all time. Tuesday came, came close to beating it, but not quite, right? But yeah. Maybe someday this game will get a proper remaster, man. It's a real shame what happened with the 3DS version, but um, I, with this finally being on PC, I'm excited for the future of like just the modding, randomizer stuff like that. Like I've I've like dreamt about it a lot during my randomizer streams. Like, dude, there's a possibility that in the future, maybe not even in the distant future. We will have full, fully functional OTMM, like, cross randomizer, right? Like, console already kind of has it, but I mean, like, it's seamless, right? It's not like you go into a loading zone and it boots up OT and you end up somewhere else. No, I mean, like, you go through a loading zone, there's, it's just seamless. You're in OOT now. And, like, maybe you have, like, a super-sized inventory where, like, you press, like, L or something. You swap between your OOT and MM inventory you can use like any items in ot and vice versa and there's so much cool shit they could do with it man i don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah I, i'm super hot for it this game is super great super fun i can't say it enough please try it but that's all i have to say um so i'm gonna just let the credits roll here get to the end screen but thank you guys for watching and i don't know what the next series will be or when it will be but, hey, whatever it is, I'll see you guys in the next one.